Okay, um, yeah. Let's actually set it up. Yeah, well, that should be fine. Okay, I am. Yeah, here I am, starting a stream for the second time on Twitch. Um, yeah, today I'm going to stream for quite a while, so it's too, um, I'm not going to use my headset because that's going to be uncomfortable for, uh, after stream for a couple hours. Um, I have a new setup for streaming. I hope it's uh, less laggy than um, the last time. I also hope the game runs uh, stably and everything, but we'll see about that. Um, yeah, so if uh, there's anything wrong with my settings or anything, just uh, write me a message. I have chat open on another screen, so I notice. At least eventually. Um, yeah, today I'm going to uh, build a ship in FCD. And, um, yeah, it's going to take quite some time. Building a ship in this size is an hour or so. Maybe two, depending on how complex you want to get. But if you want to build a proper ship, for example, heavy cruiser, I like my trusty Y one. You can already see it's a tad larger. Yeah, building that ship took me one and a half months from start to finish, and even now I'm still finding things I can tweak, uh, stuff where I didn't set it up optimally, uh, etc, etc. So yeah, let's see where we are going to end up. Um, yeah. Let's start with this, I believe. That should be a good start. Even if it's a tad high. Didn't have, don't have a chair on it? Oh, shame on me. There's always room for a chair. Let's dump the chair here and the portal controller here. And that way, I at least can lower it to the water. Yeah, this uh, little platform is my um, is roughly the uh, maximum size for the different chip hangers I've um, set up for myself. This is, has nothing to do with FTD itself, or well, it has to do with FTD, but this is not based on FTD. This is just for me a rough um, idea how large ships should be. We start with the smallest one here. The Corvette, and then go to a frigate, destroyer, cruiser, and finally a battleship. 
Though this is the old size specification. Um, that one's not 10 meters longer, otherwise it's unchanged. Yeah. So, yeah, um, the Billy Bearship will certainly uh, exceed the limits of the stream. Even a cruiser is already a large project. As I said, my last cruiser took uh, over a month to build, much less a single stream. So I think going with a destroyer and potentially building a replacement for the Lancer might be a nice idea. The Lancer is a great ship, one of my best in fact, but um, yeah, she has aged quite a bit and Several things have been pointed out that could have been done better. I yeah, learned lots of things uh, since, since I started building her and um, overall the Lancer is a fine lady but no longer the youngest. So seventy five meters.
that's coming forward. The rear is getting shot more than the front, so... I start with a full-size beam over there. So, and now I'm placing another uh, helper construct. I want the ship to have essentially two screws, but yeah, not really two. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Yeah, like this. That's where the prop should be. Just inside, maybe a little bit further back. Yeah, that looks better. Please know that what I'm currently doing is um, usually frowned upon by large uh, parts of the community. It's called um, spin blocking. Basically, I uh, intend to use a spin block in order to clip multiple propellers into the same spot. Yeah. It is an exploit as I use clipping. Um, as I use the non-collision detection from spin block uh, and other sub-objects in order to clip stuff through the hull that they can exploit. On the other side, the propeller is still on the outside, still as vulnerable as if I had just placed it there, just looks better. So I'm not entirely sure how exploited that really is. Um, the problem with FTD is that Uh, propellers simply don't have, have the thrust they need to have in order to uh, make them viable on their own. So yeah, one has to add uh, extra thrust to ships in some way. Some people use it to... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> some people use internal uh, rotor blades. Some people just spam propellers all over the place. Some people clip spin blocked uh, propellers in inside the hull. Um, using the fact that uh, propellers on spin blocks work even if there's technically no water around them. Because they are on a sub object and the sub object is not in the same space as the rear ship. So there's a lot of weird stuff going on and things being done. Actually, I think it sh I should make it one further in. Should be slowly but surely getting there. I'll leave that for, uh, alone for the moment and come back to the front. So, how do I want to do this?
Yeah, I think that's the easiest way. Yeah, now the fun begins. How to clip all this properly together. I don't want to tidy flat walk, but I think To start now, and the first was actually this. Yeah, but I think I can use that. It's not perfect.
Das ist ja genug. Das war perfekt. Ja, wir sehen, Max. Quite nice, man. That's certainly different from a couple other approaches. When I quite like this, it's mine. Side. I remember that being a thing. <laughs> yeah, and they run into the problem. And this is where I'm starting to make such a different than usual. I'll probably come back to this uh, later on, but for now it works. I think I would like that to be diagonal later on. Whatever. For now, let's just leave it.
just sorry for stop speaking from time to time. Um, I try to keep, keep uh, get the shaping done in a somewhat timely fashion, even though um, I'm not I don't intend to hurry at all for the bird today. I still don't want to linger at the hive stage too long. After all, that's only the first step. so I don't have to rotate the blocks all the time. Um, yeah. How is shaping up? You know, I actually got something that looks like a ship. <laughs> Even though the deck is just a flat plate. <laughs> so yeah, there's still tons of work to be done. If I were uh, to let go right now, it would just sink to the bottom of the ocean. But we are getting there. So, um... Yeah, so two sides.
Yep, and the rest is once again up for later. Which isn't all that far off, then later. note what I just did there. I could have placed the 2 beam um, but 2 beam plus 4 beam has less hit points than 3 beam plus 3 beam. So if you have a gap of 6 using 2 3 beams is uh, more effective than using a 2 beam and a 4 beam. is already done. Well, let me ignore that sorry excuse for Rhea here. <coughs> Let's see what it does when we throw it into the water. Once I see it off the uh, back here. Let's see it off right here. any gaps in here, at least none that FGD considers a gap, this should be floating. It probably capsizes and whatever, but yeah. This marks the very first time we can actually let go of the build mode. And I'll disable the freaking water pump effect. Yeah, it's quite high in the water, and it actually seems stable. Wow, I didn't expect that at all. For how little it's underwater, it's certainly surprisingly stable. But yeah. Um, that's for the first part. I'm taking a short break. I'll be back in probably uh, less than uh, half an hour. Say, let's make it half an hour. Um, let's save the shop right here.
Um, it's uh, destroyer, so DD. Um, it's my second destroyer, so zero two. It's an experimental design because it's not yet finished. It's a prototype, so an X for experimental. And I'll just name it for the stream for now as a pro uh, as a project name. Um, yeah, and that's it for now. I'll be back in. Let me actually check the time. Um, I'm in Germany, so it should be GMT plus one at summertime. We have quite exactly noon, 1200 right now, so I'll be back in a, in half an hour at 12:30, 25 minutes. Yeah, I'll be back into at 12:30. So thank you all for watching, and I'll resume with the ship and then fix the stern and actually um, get the ship moving. <laughs>